Hello there and welcome to part two of Max Video's presentation of the Roadlink Filmmaker's Kit wireless audio system. Welcome. Hi there. This is just to go and tell you about, oh I'm using the road now. I've got the mic on and I'm working through this to the receiver unit fitted on top of my camera. And I can see the scales going up and down, so I know it's receiving something. I just don't know what yet. <laughs> USB, micro USB B, it's called. And I used it today when I get it in the right way to upload the firmware. The new firmware 4.1, I think, for these road mics. And that's what they're for. You can also use them if you plug it in to the USB ports on your laptop or your PC, which you've just seen me do. Just let me check the microphone's working up there, and it is. You don't have to use the batteries. So you can have the whole lot powered from the USB point. Or in my case, because I sometimes use rechargeable batteries, it probably charges them up, I just don't know. But it means if you're doing a long shoot in the studio, or anything like that, and you're near any mains connections or anything else, Bob's your uncle and Fanny's your aunt. There you go. So that's what the USB ports are for. I didn't know, but I know now. This is me in a supermarket, and I'm wired up for sound. And I should be going in a minute. And I wander around, and there's electronic things all around me, and telephones, mobiles, all sorts. It's meant to make a difference but there will be no line of sight because this is all the camera is seeing. I'm going now, I'm wired up, I've left my camera on the table and they just hope nobody nicks it. <laughs> uh, right, I'm off ski. Round the corner and away we go. I know you could hear me at this stage, I'm sure of it. I even sound good in my, in my earphones, well my one earphone. I'm coming to the refrigeration units now and I'm using my other small camera so you can see where I am and the sort of noises I'm going to be up against and trying not to upset too many people. Walking around talking to yourself don't help. Everybody looks at you like you're a lunatic. But I'm hoping that the road is sending its message and the camera in the cafe part is picking it all up. One, two, three, testing. One, two, three, testing. Peter Piper picked a piece of peckled pepper. How big a piece did Pe Peter Piper pick? Hmm. The store's nice and quiet. It must have got around that there's a lunatic walking about with a camera and a microphone. <laughs> now I know I'm pushing my luck. I've come outside to my car. And you can see it is pimply sissing down. Uh, no mistakes there. Lacing down. You might actually hear me speaking to my camera. Now there's no way I expect this to work. I'm in the car and I'm setting off as you can see. I've got my little camera sort of propped up loosely on the dashboard and now it's on my chest strap. That's me. Sound is a pound now. <laughs> one, two, three, testing. One, two, three, testing. Peter Piper picked a piece of pickled pepper. Down towards some traffic lights. Never mind, eh? You can see this is typical English weather. Crappy. <laughs> well, it is November, isn't it? 
So we, if, if it's this, these electri- electronics in the car. This is as far as I got when I was editing when the signal just dropped off completely. So I go back in the editing to the cafe. Well, I've just parked the car and now I'm walking in. I know I must have been breaking up because it was about a mile and a half, mile, mile and a quarter away. So I'm just coming through into the shop now and I'm making for this cafe area. I'm hoping my camera is still there. With a bit of luck it is, I'll give you a wave as I come back. I've edited there as you can see. And that's it. Well, that's the end of part two. Go and see if you can find part three. And thank you very much for bearing with me.